Over time, grout can become dirty, stained, attract moisture, algae, especially in bathrooms, or just cracked and unsightly. So if you've tried to clean your grout and it's still not looking good, you may want to replace it. But removing old grout is difficult because grout gets stronger over time and harder to remove. It becomes brittle and very, very strong and stuck in between the tiles. So I suggest using a tool made exactly for this called a grout rake. Now a grout rake is designed to be thin enough to fit between the tiles and has a hard serrated edge which rips through the grout. And obviously when you're doing this, there's small bits of grout being pulled out between the tiles that can potentially fly in any direction. So when you're doing this, make sure you wear your eye protection just in case it's coming in your direction. And I would also advise wearing gloves as well. Now using a grout rake is very straightforward. Just pull it towards you through the grout joint, scraping off a thin layer at a time. It's important here to try to stay away from the tiles on either side the best you can. And I find it's best to take more longer light passes than trying to remove too much at a time. I tend to start on the horizontal joints and then drop back on the vertical joints where you need to be more careful because there's always that potential, especially if the tiles are in a brick bond pattern, to damage the tile above or the one below. So after a few passes, I can tell that the grout is out and I can see the adhesive behind the tile. Now, if you're gonna do a large area of this, there is another way of doing it and that's by using a multi-tool. This is a vibration tool that has a blade that fits in between the tiles. And all I would say is if you're going to use this, make sure that everything in the room is covered because everything's going to get a layer of dust, including your lungs, if you don't wear a mask. So I'd highly recommend wearing a mask. Once you've got as much out as possible, so the new grout has got a really good key to hold itself in between the tiles, then give everything a good clean with a damp cloth to get rid of any loose bits that are still on the surface and you're ready to grout. If you have a large area to grout, then mix the grout in a bucket with a paddle mixer, or if you have a small area, you can do this just by hand in a mixing jug. And then just grout your tiles as normal. And obviously I would highly recommend you watch my How to Grout Tiles video which gives you all the tips and tricks to complete your grouting to get that professional finish. I hope this helps with your re-grouting of your tiles and I will see you in the next video.